What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now I am Banner is almost at an end unfortunately. I've collected myself some badass weapons, some perfect road weapons in my opinion, which I want to showcase with you guys. But before we get into it, hey, I want to give away another Resurrectionist emblem. To enter, simply drop a like on this video and tell me in that comment section what is the best road Iron Banner weapon you had dropped. It's as simple as that. Okay, so getting into it now, I'll showcase you guys the weapons I have in my vault first. The ones I ain't really using, I'm just a collector, I'm a hoarder. So if I get one or a certain one drop, I have to keep it. And I've got two of the Titanium Orchids, both basically exactly the same. Um, one Arc, one Solar, simple as that. Then we have the Silver Dread. Uh, this one I got dropped, I think, the day before yesterday, just messing about messing with classes and shit that's why it's a lower light level this one just looks quite decent aggressive ballistics we've got injection mode hand laid stuff quick draw uh snapshot we've got hidden hand and we've got grenade here nothing great to be honest i just i just like the look of it i thought i'd just keep it and try it out here we have the branded lord this is a fusion rifle um i did i get this from a bounty i'm not sure i did get it fairly recently though because it's a 400 i think it was from a bounty actually I just can't get on with fusion rifles. I tried using them in PvP and it just they just don't work for me. I mean a lot of people are telling me this Saladin's visual is a beast. I've got one, roll ain't the best. I'm gonna grind Arc and Force, try and get a better one. Until then I'm gonna leave fusion rifles in the vault. I know the plan C is supposed to be a beast as well, but still I'm gonna try the Saladin's visual first, get used to that, then probably use a plan C. Next up we have the Lingering Song. I got this as well from my bounty. Um this is just a PvE weapon for me. I mean this I mean, this this whole archetype of uh, hand cannons, in my opinion, in PvP, are just absolutely pointless. When you got weapons such as the Aya Saluna, the Palindrome, the Whale from Future Warcraft, which is an undercover beast, by the way, I um, mean, just these are just absolutely pointless. They're still a three-shot kill without looking in chamber. Even with looking in chamber, they're still a two-shot kill. They're basically exactly the same as the Palindrome, but they just shoot. A lot slower which is just completely pointless although they can pack a punch if you go against people in uh, trials of Osiris or iron banner and they got a lower light you can two shot people without looking in the chamber but still if you miss a shot 99% of the time you're gonna die but yeah like I said I'm keeping this for PvE um, we've got on it rifle barrel we've got hand laid stuck got extended mag quick draw hidden hand and firefly firefly and extended mag being one of the main reasons I am keeping it. Shame it hasn't got a reload um, perk, but still got plenty of gauntlets that do increase reload and hang cannons. Um, I have got another one of them, which I'll show you guys in a second. And here we have my Distant Star. This was the first Distant Star I ever got. I'm not going to lie, it's actually quite good. We got Small Bore, which I can switch up for injection mold. We've got Extended Mag or Lightweight. We've got Range Finder or Icarus. This thing's basically a baby melee multi tool. Um, does it? kind of doesn't pack the same kind of punch to be honest but it's still quite decent it's not in my opinion obviously the melee tools the way way better scout but still if you want to rock another exotic like the galahorn i don't know the truth infective telesto and you want a decent scout primary this is definitely one to go towards now i'll show you the ones i've got on me these are the better weapons these are definitely the better ones i have got i'll show you my whale on me this whale it's just an absolute I mean, I've got a palindrome with Luck in the Chamber. I've got an Iceland, not with Luck in the Chamber, but it's still quite decent. This, in my opinion, it's just, it just it just feels better to use. I mean, we've got High Caliber Rounds, Outlaw, and Luck in the Chamber. I mean, the range ain't great. You could probably get one with better range, a range perk being here. Um, but yeah, I could, oh, what was that drop down to? So I've got six bullets in the magazine with Luck in the Chamber, so it kicks in more often, but still. Headshots, just destroy. It's just, it's just a good, great, great weapon, it really is. Um, okay, so. The unbent tree. Last time Iron Banner was around, this was a weapon that was dropping. And I mean, I tried, I grinded, I grinded, I grinded, trying to get a decent roll with one of these. And I just couldn't get one with counterbalance and another stability perk, which is what I wanted. I mean, I've got Send It, which increases range but drops uh, stability dramatically. We've got Brace Frame, which increases uh, stability but drops magazine size. I don't know what it drops it down to, but you lose quite a bit. We've got Arm Piercing Rush, which I probably should use over lightweight um we've got ha hidden hand and we've got spray and play i just i would love this thing with say handmade stock counterbalance and probably armor piece of rounds or lightweight that do me fine but i grinded for for days and just this was the best one i got and it still isn't the best 
Uh, I've seen so many ones of them that are just badass. Now I'll show you my Lingoon song. This was the first Lingoon song I got and I just kept it because I was loving using it in Iron Banner at the time. Um, Rifled Bow, we've got Lightweight and we've got Hidden Hand. Probably isn't even as good as the one I got dropped recently, uh, but it's just one I've kept. What else we got here? We have um, this Distant Star. This thing is an absolute monster. We've got Hammer Forged or Handmade Stock, which I'll just switch between the two. We've got Full Auto or Explosive Rounds, and we've got Hidden Hand or Crowd Control. Now, I tell you what, guys, I was using this in PvP yesterday. And it is an absolute freaking monster. I mean, I'm not too keen on pulse rifles and scouts where you have to keep spamming that trigger. I just get a dead finger, you know. So anything that drops in full auto, I will take any day of the week. And I was lucky enough to get this. The thing's an absolute beast. If you guys have got this with full auto, you guys know what I'm talking about. This thing, it just rules. It really does. Hopefully, for you guys that don't have it, when the next Iron Banner event comes around, this will be one of the weapons that drops for you. Um, okay, so we now have my Clever Dragon. Now, this was the first Clever Dragon I got at the last Iron Banner event. Um, I think I got this from a, a Rank 5. You don't get Rank 3 and Rank 5 packages now. But I think I got this from the Rank 5 packages on my Hunter. Um, we've got Handmade Stock, which increases stability. We've got High Caliber Rounds or Quick Draw. And we've got Hidden Hand or Secret Round. Now, me personally, I'll probably swap Hidden Hand and Secret Round for Counterbalance. But still... It's still an absolute monster. This thing absolutely owns PvP at the minute. It really does. Same archetype as a Grasp of Malak. So if you've got a decent... Me personally, I prefer my Grasp of Malak. My Grasp of Malak is just a better weapon in my opinion. Seems like I think it's got better aim assist. It's got a um, higher range. My one's got better stability as well. But still, Clever Dragon you still can't go wrong with. Now this is the beast. This is what I had dropped for me yesterday. Playing Iron Banner. And I'm, I'm quite happy with it. We've got hand laid stock, we've got high caliber rounds, and we have counterbalance. Now you guys know that this thing is going to tear shit up. Now this was the one roll on this Clever Dragon I really wanted, and I got it. I mean, I got it, I can't complain, I got it. I mean, like, I think it was probably like the last two games I played last night as well, and I'm not going to play no more Iron Banner, I don't think. And I, I just I was so, so, so pleased. I'm yet to level it up and try it out. But as soon as I do, you guys will be sure to find out what I think of this weapon. You really will. So yes, this is probably my best rolled Iron Banner weapon I had dropped so far. Apart from that Distant Star, which is a beast. Um, I'll show you guys my Branded Lord. This is the one I've got. I just can't get on with it. Hot Swap, Accelerated Coils and Rifled Bow. It just doesn't pack enough of a punch for me. We've got this Proud Spire, which I don't use, to be honest. I've got a Wicked Party Crusher, even though it's got Hammer Forge and Range Finder. I may have to try that out, to be honest, not going to lie. Um, and then we have this Silver Dread, which is my baby, which is the heavier I use. We've got Accurized Ballistics. We've got Small Bore, Quick Draw, which can uh, switch for a Snapshot. We've got Life Support and Counterbalance. I love this weapon, I really do. Quite a beast. Uh, also, yesterday I got Iron Banner Boots Drop which were the one thing I needed at 400 to take me to that 400 lights. So yes, I am now a 400 light without doing challenge mode, which is absolutely epic. But guys, that is it. They are my best rolled Iron Banner weapons. Let me know down below in that comment section what is your best rolled Iron Banner weapon you had dropped. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand